come to the farm and say, oh, it has horns, it's a boy. That's not always true. The girls can have horns too. It's just the type of breed that they are. So these are some of our lambs. I'm gonna show you a fun video of them playing later on. So earlier I talked to you about the difference between hay and straw. And so hay is what the animals eat. And straw is what animals will lie on and it keeps them dry, um, it keeps them clean. And so this is the color of our straw bales. They are um, soybean bales, so we can take a crop of soybeans, which most people normally uh, use to bake with, eat, um, as well as we put it in the animal feed. And we can take these stalks from that and bale it into straw bales and use all of the crop and be more efficient with it. So this is the straw bales that we use. And I want to um, show you a video at the end of our farm tour today of some lambs being goofy. And I want you to answer the question, what type of bale were they playing on? Was it a straw bale or a hay bale? Straws use the uh, yellow, which is like uh, grain straw. We also feed soybean straw, which is the leftover part after we combine the soybeans. It's a little more grayish brown. Now this, a lot of people see these in the fields, and they look like giant marshmallows. Now, a lot of people don't understand what's actually in them. So what we do with these, these are hay bales that are baled when the hay is actually still wet, and then they're wrapped in plastic, and then as they're wrapped in plastic, they actually start to ferment, and actually makes the feed quality better for the sheep. So it makes a nice green, soft hay for them that they like to eat. So we feed this stuff, which is called baleage, which is the wet hay wrapped in plastic. And then we also, um, when we bale some hay that is dry, and it's not got to be covered in plastic, but it's gotta be stored inside to keep it from getting wet because it's not wrapped. So the, when we bale this up, it has to sit in the plastic for at least three weeks before we can feed it. That's what lets it ferment and make it nice and edible for the sheep. So sometimes on the farm we have some baby lambs that, um, for <laughs> hi Austin, <laughs> that unfortunately their mommies can't take care of them and can't feed them a bottle. So we have to feed them a bottle. And girls, what are the names of these lambs? Who do you have, Austin? Uh -oh, and this is Juju. This is Juju? Yep. And they are brother and sister, right? Yes. So how many times do you have to feed them a bottle a day? Um, four, four times. times. A day? Four usually, times a day? We, um, we usually feed them three times. And then um, mom and dad feed them one time at night. Uh -huh. yeah. Awesome. It's a lot of work to have them, huh? Let's see, can you pick him up and then we can see? So they have some pretty cool spots on them. They're kinds that we don't usually have too much. Hi. Uh, so these guys are about six weeks old and they are twins. Twins are not unusual, are they? Nope. Nope, we usually have a, quite a bit of twins or um, one baby, which we call a single. Sometimes we'll even have triplets. And even quadruplets sometimes happen. We don't like to have them because that's really hard on the mommies. Pretty heavy, huh, Felicity? You Thank you for showing us them. you have to measure things out you have to follow a recipe and so we actually have help at the farm to do that and that is Jackson and he's measuring out right now some of the feed and so in our feed we use corn and soybeans and molasses um, oats or barley depending on which recipe 
and it will turn out something like this. And so that feed has all of the nutrients that the sheep need. We carefully keep track of um, what the quality of our hay is like so that we can make sure that their diet is balanced. And we make sure that they have the vitamins that they need. Just like mom and dad make sure that you have your vitamins, some of you may take Flintstone vitamins. We make sure that the sheep have the nutrients and the vitamins that they need to grow healthy. These are the baby chicks that we raise at our farm. We raise our own chicken to sell in our farm store. These are some of the chicks that are inside. These are about two weeks old. We get them when they're a day old. And then we raise them inside with a heat lamp that looks like that. And that keeps them really warm because they need really warm temperatures until they're a little bit older. And then we take them and they are raised outside until it is time for them to be butchered. So we get our baby chicks actually when they are a day old after being hatched. So many people don't know the difference between different types of chickens, but these are uh, what we call white rock chickens and they are meant for meat. They will not lay eggs. So these are meat chickens. And so we raise about a thousand to two thousand per year, but we only raise ours from April until November because we like to have them outside as much as possible. So we will do groups of 100 baby chicks every three weeks and we will raise them in small groups like that. And we find that this way we can keep them a little bit healthier, we can raise them outside, and it's nicer to have the smaller batches of chicks. So these are some of our meat chickens. So at the farm, we have a farm store where we sell our meat and our eggs and sausages for customers to come and buy right at the farm. And the girls have some laying hens that lay eggs. And remember, I talked about with our baby chicks that those were meat chickens, and so they don't lay eggs. But the girls have some hens that lay eggs, and they sell them to people at the farm. Their chickens sell, or sorry, their chickens lay brown eggs. And we have a couple different sizes here. Felicity, can you tell us about the sizes of eggs? Two are jumbo and small. How do you get a jumbo egg, Austin? Oh, so when you get a jumbo egg that has like a double yolk in it, it has two of the yellow yolks in it, it's probably from an older chicken, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Those are fun to get. How do you decide what size they are? What do you have to do to figure out the size? Do you just look at them or what do you um, do? We weigh them on a scale, which um, I usually weigh them on a scale on my... Um, my mom and dad will like tell me, um, like, let's say 995 to 779. Um, let's pretend that that was medium. They would do that for me. Oh, okay. But obviously, they don't weigh that much, right? No. Oh, I hope not. And we measure those in grams, right? So we put them on a scale, so we have to know how to weigh things, and we go by their weight to decide how big of an egg they are. 